Hi guys, welcome to Motor Beam. Today we have the new Tata Safari with us and of course the owner of the car, Shantanu. So Shantanu, first of all, thank you so much for getting your car for the shoot early morning. My pleasure. So can you give us a quick introduction? Who are you? What do you do? How you started doing what you do? Sure. Uh, I work for the Tatas. Uh, I've worked for the Tatas for about seven years now. Currently, I'm general manager in uh, Mr. Ratan Tata's office as the chairman emeritus. I have always owned a Tata vehicle. So I'm here to talk about my latest purchase. So what yeah. cars did you have before the Safari? What Tata cars did you have before the Safari? I think it all started with the Indica DLS. Then we went to the Indica Vista. Then we went to the Nexon. Um, these are all family cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just gifted my mom a Tiago. Oh, nice. Very happy with it. I have only driven one car, which is the Tata Nano. Tata Nano. I bought it five years ago, the okay. XTA Automatic. Okay, okay. And I bought it because uh, of the legacy of the person attached to it. Of course. And it was one of the last two Nanos left at the work plant. Oh. And I was like, I have to get it. I have to have this little piece of history mm. uh, in our family. So how many years did you use the Nano? How they Five years. Five, Five years. years this year completed. Okay. And it, it's still it's still around. Uh, it's going to be a family heirloom. Okay. Yeah. So let's do one thing. Let's go for a drive in Yoga and then we'll talk more in detail. Yeah, sure. You guys might be wondering how do Shantanu and I know each other. So the thing is that when he bought his safari, he actually commented on an Instagram post of mine, which is how we got in touch and decided to shoot this video. So Shantanu, we are finally driving around in your car. Tell us more about the car. What variant is this and what persona basically you decided to buy and why? So I went with the Accomplished Plus. Okay. Because in our family, when we buy a car, we're going to use it for at least a decade. Mm -hmm. And if I was going to go down that road, then I would always regret some features to be missing in the future. Yeah, yeah. Not that features are very important to me, but I realize the investment that one has to make of course. Um, in safety, in comfort. So I am not going to let go of this car for a really long time. Mm -hmm. So I went with the absolute top. Yeah, makes sense getting the top end then in that case because you yeah. have every feature, you don't get bored of the car eventually. Right. The Safari has a lot of different color options, the new gold color also and even on the Harry you get the new yellow color. So what is your favorite color out of all of these in the entire range? My color remains uh, white Okay. Uh, because I think the trending colors come and go and they are beautiful colors. I saw the cosmic gold, it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. But for me personally, I like a color that stays timeless mm -hmm. and even 10 years down the line is not gonna be any different in terms of how I feel about the color. And any particular reason for getting the seven seater instead of the six seater? Yeah, absolutely. I bought this car for a very important reason. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the important reasons is okay. that my dog just turned seven. Oh, okay. And it's a little sad that, you know, when we go to the vet and stuff now, mm -hmm. they start calling him old or older. Okay, okay. And that's made me realize the kind of trips that I want to make with him, mm. kind of distances I want to go yeah, and yeah. how my time with him is limited. Mm. And one wish that I definitely have is to make him see snow again. Okay. Because where he was born, there was a lot of snow. Okay. So all these th things combine and to sort of spend a lot of time with him, the mm -hmm. seven seater was important because the bench seat is what he needs. Mm -hmm. And he's been enjoying the support, the space yeah, um, yeah. and the natural light and I think I think he was a big part of this purchase. <laughs> but when you ride this car locally, what is your use case? Uh, like in traffic and highway, what is the ratio between that? Right, so because I drove the Nano, I weaved through traffic <laughs> so easily. I just zipped through it. I used to use the two-wheeler lane also at some point. <laughs> okay. And it used to annoy the hell out of uh, <laughs> SUVs and you know people at the red light and all the GLSs and all, all of them. <laughs> so weaving through traffic is very important to me because I'm over committing my day always and I'm, yeah, yeah. I have so many commitments that I always have to get place A, place B, place C and mm -hmm. before you know it the day ends. So yeah, yeah. even with the safari, the city use case is just zipping through traffic mm -hmm. and I was really concerned how will I go from a nano to a safari and then still zip through traffic but mm. the power that it has at yeah, its disposal yeah. and the maneuverability mm -hmm. because of the electronic steering that they've now given, it's just not inhibited me so much. I can't put it in the two-wheeler lane, but yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, helps me weave through traffic and that's my biggest, mm -hmm. that's my biggest point of uh, why I wanted the safari. And possibly that's the reason why you got the automatic and not the manual, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Much more convenient in traffic. Yeah, yeah. So what does your family think about the safari? Have they driven it yet? 
Uh, yes, my mom did, and she loved it. She was like, "It's just gliding." It's just gliding. She kept repeating that because we've not owned a premium premium car in okay. our family. Okay. We've always gone for the base models. Mm-hmm. Actually, my mom and my grandmom had a part to play in this decision. Also, one okay. once uh, they had come to Bombay, and grandmom really wanted to see all her places where she. spent most of her life in in uh, bombay we managed to arrange a car from the taj for her quickly because uh, okay. everyone else the rentals were not happening mm-hmm. and it was a safari yeah yeah and when she came back and mom came back and they were like you put us in such a beautiful <laughs> car what car was that and it was so comfortable we didn't feel mm-hmm. anything so i i already had that check mark you have driven the older safari also right i have yes so uh, compared to that what changes do you feel in the new one what it's improvements do you feel primarily it's the handling mm. it's just it's just so responsive yeah um you know where do you want to go and the you quickly can communicate it to the car and the car mm-hmm. can quickly execute it so it's very intuitive that way apart from that of course the biggest difference is the aesthetic and cosmetic changes they've mm-hmm. made mm-hmm. it really has become quite aggressive and i like to have a car where when you park it and you walk a few steps you always want to look back mm-hmm. and sort of admire it and uh, it, it really has that overlap i think tata motors has done a great job of synergizing its access to range rover and land rover mm-hmm. and sort of bringing some trickle of dna into its heritage of tata motors so what do you think would be better in the safari maybe some improvement or maybe something that uh, could be more suited to your requirements Uh, it's a silly thing actually, but mm. the whole panel is touch, okay. and it looks beautiful. I mean, the piano black panel, I yeah. just I adore it. Mm-hmm. But I do so many things while driving <laughs> that I have to look at the panel now to touch it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas when you had the dials, you could just know where the dial is. Yeah, easier to just control while driving. Right. So if you had to sum up the safari in one word or one phrase, what right. would that be? I think it's a premium, aggressive. Uh, head turner yeah and i think it's a long term car mm-hmm. and i think it's a multi utility vehicle because it it deals with family it deals with comfort it deals with aggression the sports mode is just yeah. something i love i mm-hmm. mean it just puts all the power at your disposal aggressively so what do you think about the comfort the space inside the cabin the shape of the seats and of course the suspension on our bad roads It's very living roomish, I must say, <laughs> because it's a small house on wheels. Yeah, and the, when you open the panoramic sunroof and you let the skylight do its thing, mm. it just feels so roomy. And the fact that the second row seats are a little bit higher than yeah. the driver seats yeah. makes the people behind enjoy it so much, also. And they keep my passengers keep telling me that, and I sort of envy them because I have to be the one driving <laughs> always. And I was like, when will I enjoy the sunlight? <laughs> and uh, one last question if money was no bar what would be your ultimate dream car if money was no bar it would be the defender defender yeah what we rent 90 110 90, 130 absolutely 90 90 and yeah. what color <laughs> i think it would also be white white <laughs> nice <laughs> nice amazing choice so we are back from a drive in the safari and uh, shantanu great to know that having a very nice experience with your car so any piece of advice for people who are watching this video looking to purchase a harrier or safari I think the Harrier and Safari have evolved in what they stood for after the facelift. The Harrier has become more of a sporty youth icon outlook, while the Safari is pan ages, pan personalities. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I would suggest is Tata Motors has introduced this persona system, yeah. where they help you tailor the model according to your um feature requirement yeah 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 so the top end might be too overwhelming with too many features the base model might be too little so they help you find something that's just right for you yeah yeah including interior colors exterior colors um which features are important to you adas etc so i think you should really take time to understand yeah what personas mean and which one is the best for you so that's great to hear shantam so thank you so much for taking time out for our shoot and uh, yeah we'll see you very soon thank you we'll so much you soon thank you thank you guys watching this video if you want to share your experience with any car let us know in the comment section below